Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to join the Carnegie Council this afternoon uh, from Hong Kong, the borrowed studios from Next Media here in Hong Kong, uh, to speak to you a little bit about uh, nationalism, the Olympics, uh, and what we've been seeing going on in China. Uh, first, I'd like to start with a disclaimer. Uh, I'm not uh, a French. <laughs> I don't work for Carrefour. I'm not a Chinese nationalist. Uh, I don't even speak Chinese very well though I am studying it, but I have been a reporter for the New York Times and the International Herald Tribune based out of Asia for many years. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at this issue from the perspective of new media, what's different. But before we do that, uh, let's look at what's not different. This is not the first time uh, that we've seen uh, 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 you know, anti-foreigner sentiments uh, uh, in, uh, in, in China. Uh, looking back to the Boxer Rebellion, uh, of course, uh, and this is not even the first time, uh, if we can have the, the slide, uh, showing uh, uh, this is not even the first time that, that, we, that we've seen anti-foreigner sentiments online. Uh, a few years back there was a uh, g computer game which was suspected of having a rising sun in the middle of it, in the middle of a temple. Uh, ch Chinese uh, 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 game players were fr annoyed about this. Uh, this is a zoom in from that, 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 that supposed rising sun, uh, and they began protesting about it. They started online avatars bringing together this anti-Japanese uh, uh, protest um, until the, you could actually fill up the entire game with the uh, an anti-Japanese uh, crowds. So ang angry chat rooms are nothing new uh, in, the, uh, in the online world. Um, and this time, with the anti-foreigner sentiment, uh, it, it's, we, we, you know, following the torch rally, we had a lot of the uh, uh, similar sort of things going on. We had uh, uh, on, on mainstream media uh, uh, arguments on television about how to organize the Cal 4 boy boycotts. And indeed, this time around, we've also had video games involved. This is a video game on QQ, which is one of the largest online uh, social networks in the world, in fact, the largest one in China. Uh, this is a, a game called uh, Concealing Drugs uh, is Bad. Um, and wh why is this of interest? Concealing Drugs is Bad, uh, uh, the, the evil character in this game uh, uh, is called Zhang Du, which is, has an uncannily sim similar na sound to Tibetan independence. So you go out and you try and kill Zhang Du in this game, and if you win in this game, if we can look at the screen again, if you win in this game, uh, uh, this is what appears. If you, you manage to kill this character called Tibetan Independence, you get a, 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 a Chinese flag. Um, some of the other things that uh, went on uh, in uh, uh, this uh, current uh, environment was the hacking of Calfor's website. That's not surprising. Calfor, of course, said that their website was uh, 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 under some repair. Um, but what, what has happened new in this whole environment is the China, in China, is Web 2.0. Let's take a quick look at, at what's been going on in, in the Web 2.0 area. Um, here is one of the more, some of the more famous uh, uh, members of the Web 2.0 in China. Just a quick taste of them. These are, these are the, the, the Dorm Street Boys, who, as you can see, uh, uh, do uh, 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 covers for the, the Backstreet Boys. So th this web, to this this is getting into a zone which I, I call the China's Web 2.0 propaganda.